name's Hedwig. How old are you? Nine. Your identities live in Kevin's body. M. Night Shalaman, Shalaman has delivered us one of his greatest masterpieces. Split was such a good movie. Phenomenal, intense, scary, suspenseful. Man, James McAvoy, all right, you guys, James McAvoy, yo, he sold this role pretty good. I mean, it's time that we start, you know, really recognizing this man's talent. I will say this, he is this generation's Marlon Brando. Yes, I said, I'm probably gonna get some hate for it, but what, I don't care. He was a phenomenal actor in this movie and his previous movies as well. His ability to, you know, really dive deep into his characters, use his emotion to bring out the full effect of each character he ever plays is just really inspiring. James McAvoy, you are amazing. So, this is spoilers. So, if you guys haven't seen this movie, please go see the movie, then come back and watch my video. But yes, whew, Split. <laughs> Split. Crazy movie. James McAvoy's character, Kevin, right, has 23 personalities. 23. Now, they don't show you all 23 in the movie. They show you about four of them. Maybe even five. But let me tell you, each personality is fucking crazy. He's Dennis. Dennis is kind of like, you know, the muscle guy. He's a neat freak. So if you spill anything, he's going to get pissed off and snap at you. <laughs> and you got Hedwig. Hedwig is a nine-year-old boy. You know what I mean? So he's real immature. You know, he's, he's, like, he's like a kid. He listens to Kanye West. <laughs> he's dancing and shit in his own room. She's crazy as hell. Then you got Miss Patricia, which is... He's a woman, right? And you know, she's like a neat freak as well. So she likes everything perfect. She was cutting a slice of bread. She cut it uneven, she snapped. Which is crazy. And you got Barry. Barry's like a fashion guru. You know what I mean? He, he draws, you know, flat out sketches of, you know, outfits and stuff like that. And he, and he reports to his, um, his therapist. So those are his personalities that they show in the film. But what this movie's about, <laughs> Yeah, he and Dennis, one of the person, the personality, the you know the backbone, ends up kidnapping three girls, right? And he's kind of he's holding them hostage, but he's not really harming them, right? He's he's waiting for this opportunity to show his twenty fourth personality, which is the personality you really don't want to be involved with. That personality is called the Beast, scary as hell. Also, he, he suffers from, a, I think it's called DID. DID, that, that's his disorder. You know what I mean? I, I guess it's a personality defect or disorder where you have multiple personalities and you really can't control, you know, what each personality does. So, saying that, every time he comes into the room, you know, like, in different occasions, he's a different person. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he'll, he'll come into the room as Dennis and the girls would just be terrified because Dennis, you know, he's, he's a mean guy. You know what I mean? Or he'll come into the room as fucking Hedwig. You know, and one of the girls, I think her name's Carrie. I think her name's Carrie, not too sure. But she, she was probably, she was a quiet one in the film, the, the more relatable one with, you know, with Hedwig, you know what I mean? She, she didn't lose her shit when all this shit was happening because Unfortunately, she was molested as a child. Her father died. She was molested by her uncle, who continuously molested her after he took her in. So, yeah, so she's had a rough life. So she didn't really go batshit crazy. She didn't, you know what I mean, flip out too much. She was like, let's stay calm, cool, collected. Let's think this out. Let's see what can happen. Or we don't know what's going to happen right now. So that happens, right? And, you know, story evolves a little bit. <clears throat> And um, Barry starts sending um, his therapist. I forgot her name. Sorry. He starts sending, um, um, her, you know, his therapist, you know, these emails of like urgent, urgent meetings, you know, or un unscheduled meetings. Like, I need to see you right now. It's urgent. So he'll come by, you know what I'm saying? And he'll talk to her. And, you know, he's very flamboyant because, you know, he's in the fashion and I believe he's gay as well. So, you know, 
beyond that, um, his therapist starts to pretty much, you know, really wonder what's going on with him because, you know, he's coming by with all these unscheduled visits. So she's like, yo, is everything okay? And she wants to dive deep into, you know, more of his different personality. So she finally gets Dennis out of him. Woo! Dennis is fucking... This is Dennis. Let me show you Dennis. That's Dennis. <laughs> Straightforward, just mad dogging. Mean dude. So she finally, you know, gets Dennis out of him. And, you know, he's not even... He's not, he's not his flamboyant self. He's not... So, you know, this fashion industry, you know, I really appreciate it. <laughs> he's not that anymore. He's just, boom, he's Dennis. You know what I mean? He's a crazy motherfucker. He's mean all the time. So after that, you know, he's still waiting on this beast to happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, you know, he, he separates the girls that, you know, that he kidnapped. He separates them all because, you know, they all start, you know, acting out of fucking character or whatnot. And, you know... Doesn't like that very much. So he separates them, puts them in their own rooms, you know. And pretty much, at the end of the movie, the therapist comes to where he lives, and he invites her in, and he pretty much gassed her or whatnot and knocked her out. So she's completely knocked out because she found one of the girls. She was like, what the, what are you doing, Dennis? You know, this, this isn't you, this isn't right. Gassed her, she's out. He leaves and he's like, yo, I'm about to go get Dennis. I mean, not Dennis. I'm about to go get, what's his name? Uh, the Beast. The, the 24th personality. So they get the 24th personality and man, whew, shit. The Beast comes out and he comes back. He's yoked. He's running. Comes back to the house or, you know, where all the girls are. And he's just killing them. Left and right. Killed the therapist. Killed the other two girls. And, you know, the last chick... Carrie, I believe, you know, the one who was molested, he's, you know, fighting him off, you know, trying to survive pretty much. And she ends up surviving because she took off her shirt and what he believes in, the beast, he pretty much believes in this world isn't for the weak. If you haven't gone through anything, you can't survive. So he sees the scars on her body and he's like, and, you know, rejoice. You know, you're strong. You've, you've made it. You, you can survive. So he ends up leaving her alone or whatnot. She's found by one of the, <clears throat> one of the, the janitors. <clears throat> and it's crazy, by the way, y'all. Big spoiler. At the end of this movie, Bruce Willis is in it. Because this is a sequel to Unbreakable. That's all we'll say about that. Crazy as hell. But yes, I rate this movie a 9 out of 10. Phenomenal movie. M. Night Shyamalan is back. Previous films were kind of struggling, but he's back, you guys. I cannot wait to see what more he has. All right, y'all. I'm Audi. That was my official review for Split. Comment down below if you have any questions or thoughts. I'm out. Peace. We out. We out. We out. We out.